Hi all, let's have a look at Chord Atlas. Uh, if we use the Select tool up here, we can right click on uh, these uh, GIS footprints to import meshes for each of these guys. We can use the left mouse button, click and hold, and then WAS and D to move the camera around. And we can do things like use left and right arrow keys to change the brightness, or up and down arrow keys to change the speed of the camera. Let's see how we can use this to do some modeling. Let's uh, import a block here. We can click the Find Profiles button to create these little profiles. We can then click the Optimize button to create a simple mesh from these profiles. Uh, let's hide the profiles just now. And then we can go in and, for example, we can um, edit the uh, plan and profiles of this, uh, this building. So, for example, maybe we want to move a vertex around. Where are we? Or maybe we want to edit a profile so that we have a, a nice mesh shape. We can then go in and we can start the uh, Frankengan system. Wait for it to load all of its weights. And then we're able to take our model and um, we're able to set this uh, joint distribution. And if we click the redraw distribution button and uh, wait a little while, we'll be able to see the windows and the geometry automatically appearing from the Frankengan system. You can see here it's trying to generate uh, 164 window images, so this might take a little while. But while this is happening, we can go and have a bit of a closer look at how far it's gone. We can see we have textures for the walls and the windows. There are the labels for the windows. And uh, now we're working on the textures for those windows. There we go. As we can see, this is a fairly fast system. And as we move the light probe around, we can see that uh, there are normals calculated here. Up here, we can, uh, for example, export everything that we see as an OBJ file. And alternatively, we can go in and we can play with some of the distributions on this building. So, for example, we might want to go in and um, change the distribution that we see here using the distribution editor and so instead of creating these yellow facades maybe we want to create uh, some different styles so we can go here and we can click the random button until we see something that we like a bit or even drag sliders to try and find some space of images that we want to uh, apply. We can do this with all our different features. So for example here we can go in and these are the roofs which are currently a bit red. Let's go out a bit further and see if we can find some different color roofs. And the same for window labels and windows. And even here we see the super resolution networks. OK, um, now we can also go in and we can see that if we select a single facade, um, we're able to see the options just for that facade. And maybe, for example, we want to go in and look at where we get the windows from. And if we set this to off, we're able to um, edit the window locations manually. Here we see the, the window locations here and maybe we want to delete a window at a certain location and we can see this is all updated fairly fairly quickly. We're also add red, even able to click the middle button and add new features, add new windows and uh, balconies if we feel the need. There's our new balcony being painted in. 
Finally, I'll just mention these two uh, options down here are the super resolution networks. Um, if it were in the joint distribution mode and we use the super mode uh, before clicking redraw distribution, then we will um, run the super resolution networks. And these take a long time to run, but are capable of creating very high quality results. Let's see if I can persuade this single facade to um, run its super resolution network. And we can see here that now we have some more detail on this facade. Okay, enjoy.